another tutorial. Can you believe it? So soon since my last one. So I'm, I'm trying to get back at it. Bear with me. Anyway, I just got done washing and deep conditioning my hair with Alakay Natural Products. Again, I will have the link in the description box from when I reviewed them the first time around. And now I'm going to start making the parts for my flat twists. Now usually it wouldn't matter if you make the part straight for your flat twist, but I'm going out so I want to make sure I'm not looking too crazy. And of course I'm going to oil my scalp with this oil from Alicane Naturals. That is my favorite and I am running out so hopefully Black Onyx gives me some when I see her in New York City next weekend. <laughs> Now I'm using the lemongrass leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to go ahead and put the Shea Yogurt Moisturizer in my hair. And I love both of these products. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this stuff already. For my styler, I'm going to be using the Aloe Berry Styling Gel. Last time I used this only for my flat twist, but this time I'm going to be using this for the flat twist and also for the definition. And as you can see, it has a very jiggly consistency. my flat twist at the very top of my head and then I just work my way down and if you want a flat twisting tutorial I do one I do one <laughs> I do have one and I will actually put that in the description box for you guys Once I get to the end of the flat twist, I add a little bit of the moisturizer and gel, comb through, and then begin a two strand twist. I did add a little too much product to that one two strand twist, but it's okay because I didn't have any crunchiness or flakiness in the end result, so that was quite alright. Moving on, I'm just going to repeat those same steps. in the back are never that great they never come out that great but again I knew I was I knew I was heading out I knew I had to leave the house so I tried to make them as presentable as possible also you want to try to make sure that they are kind of neat because the, the neater they are the better the end result will be so keep that in mind Okay, so now I'm finished and I had 10 chunky flat twists in total. So 
So it's bright and early in the morning and it's time to take these flat twists down. So I'm going to use the Shine Craze Hair Glosser and put this on my fingertips so I won't get any frizz when taking these flat twists down. I was really nervous about this flat twist in the back because they weren't done so great but as you can see the definition was still amazing so I'm really impressed with this product I mean it did a good job on the flat twist before but I didn't take those all the way down so knowing that I can use this as a, a gel to set flat twist and also to use it for a styling product for definition that's really great that I can use it in both ways so now that all the flat twists are out the next step is of course to get my afro pick and fluff the roots I just want to make sure all my clean parts are not seen anymore and then I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair just so I can get you know maximum value And now that I'm all dialed up and glammed, you know it, I'm finished! As always, thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I hope to see you guys soon with another video.